Hey guys, today I want to go over the three different levels of data science SQL and data analytics SQL questions that you might be expected to face on the interview. We'll break down each individual SQL question by easy, medium, hard, and then you can try to figure out if you're going to be expected to see an easy, medium, or hard question coming up for your next interview, depending on your experience level and what kind of job that you want. All right, let's dive into it. So as we know, in this job market and economy in 2023, as I'm filming it, it is still very difficult to get a data analytics or data science job. And even if you're going for another kind of job in analytics or data engineering, it is still very difficult. And so we wanna dive into exactly how you can ace at least the SQL portion of your interview coming up. I've done a bunch of guides on SQL, but I wanted to do this one on just kind of what you might expect depending on your skill level. Because I know a lot of people prepare varying amounts of SQL and Python questions. It's important not to under prepare or over prepare for the SQL portion because there's a lot of different sections within the data analytics interview that you have to go through. So let's dive into first what an easy level SQL interview question is gonna be like, and then how you can tackle it, and then when you might be expected to face this or who might be expected to face these kinds of questions. So a high level overview of the level difficulty. I'll go through each type of SQL difficulty and talk about what's expected. So starting out, easy SQL interview questions generally are more definition-based questions, or they're gonna comprise a very simple queries. And so what I mean by definition is it'll be something like, what does the where clause do in SQL, right? And these are stuff that you can look up into Google or you just have to know because you understand how SQL works. And so for example, the, another one very common question is what is the difference between a where and a having clause in SQL? Medium SQL questions tend to elaborate more into actually giving a case study on a SQL question. So for example, you'll be given two tables and you'll be asked to write a query to return some sort of result. And you know that if you're given two tw tables, you'll have to join them together. Whereas for an easy SQL question, you'll be generally just be given you know one table maybe a second table as well jay from the future here today and just wanted to add in our sponsor for today which is the google data analytics certificate from coursera i highly recommend the google data analytics certificate it's actually designed by google employees themselves and it's a pretty deep dive into the processes used by data analysts every single day you'll gain an immersive understanding of different tools like sql tableau as well as the understanding of analytical skills such as data cleaning, data visualization, and data analysis. I think probably the best part of it though is kind of the flexibility around the actual data analytics certificate. So it is 100% online and self-paced and I really care about something that is also affordable and so it is basically around $40 a month which is pretty good. This means also that you can learn it at any time and any kind of self pace that you want. Definitely is within my ethos of kind of online education and essentially if you could spare basically 10 hours a week, then you can get it done in around six months. Another thing that's pretty good is that if you're transitioning from another field into data analytics, let's say you're career switching, or if you're a student right now, it is pretty good because you can start from the very beginning, kind of learn data analytics from the ground up. So you don't need any prior experience for it as well. Once you complete it, you can put the certificate on your LinkedIn or your resume. I wouldn't say that it would guarantee you a job after that. I think I've done a lot of videos on that, but I think one of the awesome things is that if you are looking to upskill yourself, then it's an awesome certificate to put on your resume for that for either your existing employer who could then give you some more data analytics like tasks, or if you're looking to transition jobs and showcasing that you do have some general fundamental knowledge around data analytics, even if your prior education is in that field. So please check it out today. There's a seven day free trial, so there's no cost to sign up. Uh, we'll put the link in the channel below and let's go back to the SQL questions. Additionally, for medium SQL interview questions, they're going to be essentially adding more stuff around aggregations, potentially asking you about window functions and self joins, basically any kind of complex interaction between multiple tables, but just generally understanding that you can do these within a certain amount of time. Finally, the hard questions are probably, as you know, just generally hard. They're going to take a much longer. They might take 30 minutes to 40 minutes. They might have multiple CTEs or multiple self joins or queries within queries. Additionally, the other very common effect of what happens from these hard SQL questions is case studies, basically not actually giving you the query that you have to write. First asking you, what kind of analysis do we want to see here? This is very common that a data analytics case study video that I've done before that I'll add in the description 
description below. I'll ask you a question like, give me a metric for understanding if the users are seeing success on our platform in the first seven days. And you'll have to come up with this metric and then you'd have to basically conjure up tables or they might give you the tables and then actually write the query yourself. And so the problem is twofold here, right? You actually have to come up with the metric or whatever you want to analyze. And then you actually have to analyze and provide the data to the query to actually write it out and analyze it. So let's first dive into easy SQL questions. Now, who can actually be expected to see easy SQL interview questions? So in my opinion, it's going to be anyone who's an entry level, obviously, it's gonna be anyone who's basically interviewing for a role that might be using analytics or SQL, but not in the overall day to day. So basically not data scientists, but someone like marketing analytics, maybe a product manager as well, or software engineers, like entry level software engineers as well is very common. But ultimately companies, interviewers, they all know that SQL is a very easy tool to actually learn. So when they ask you the easy questions, they're mostly just testing that you understand the general concepts. And if they need you to understand it more in depth, basically you'll be able to learn it on the job, but it won't be the number one criterion for your actual job here. So some of the more common easy SQL interview questions are going to be, I'll, I'll just list a few here. For example, what are the most common aggregate functions in SQL and what do they do? So for here, you could just list something like count. This counts up all the rows in a table. Average obviously provides the average sum you know, sums up the values. These are all kind of very basic, you know, SQL questions that apply across Excel as well and pandas. So conceptualizing it all, it's more about understanding that you have experience with tables. When would you use a group by statement? So obviously we'd use a group by statement when we're trying to actually group records together by a specific column. Again, you know, pretty simple query. This is the most common easy SQL question I've ever heard. What is the difference between a left join, right join? And obviously if you don't know the answer to this question, I can't help you, but obviously we have a blog post down below where you you can read the answers to all of these. All right, the next one is given a table called employees, how can we find the largest salary for each department? Now, this is a classic easy SQL interview question. And you can see from here, the reasoning why is because one, it has just an employees table, uh, has columns ID, department salary. And then you can also see that essentially what you need to do is just one aggregation and you need to apply the group by function here. And so it's a very simple query. It really utilizes just one concept, maybe two, if you think that the group by and the aggregation function are two different concepts, but you'll see this for a lot of other easy SQL questions as well. It'll be like select all the employees who make over a hundred K and that will apply the understanding that you need to know how to use the where function. And so as we get into a little bit harder, easier, questions, harder, easier, you know, whatever. Then we're going to see applications of two or three different kinds of SQL concepts stacked on top of each other. And that's how I generally measure the difficulty is like how many different SQL concepts do you have to stack on top of each other to understand the concepts that are happening in SQL. All right, let's dive into medium SQL interview questions. Now, so medium, I kind of understand to being, it's, you can't really understand what medium is until you've basically gone through a lot of interviews. But at, for a general person who's interviewing, I would say that a data scientist who's interviewing for a role, like entry-level data scientists will encounter medium SQL interview questions, maybe even on internships as well. But if you're going for also a data analytics position, if you have one or two years of experience, I think you're gonna encounter a lot of medium SQL interview questions. And then also if you're an entry level data engineer or a software engineer, you're going to encounter medium level SQL interview questions. And as we said before, medium SQL interview questions comprise of having at least two or more tables. Uh, they comprise of doing multiple advanced queries in terms of doing self joins, partitions. They also in interviews, interviews expect you to be able to solve easy level questions very quickly, and then maybe spend around 15 minutes on a medium level SQL interview question. And I think that's kind of the key thing here is that if you are interviewing for a role with a few years of experience, they are expecting you to be able to solve this question within 10 to 15 minutes. So let's dive into a few examples of intermediate and medium level SQL interview questions. So given the table of users and rides, write a query to report the distance traveled by each user in descending order. So probably the easiest medium level SQL question that I've seen is this one, where basically you know you have to join these two tables together and then apply an aggregation on top to then get the value that you want. And then you have to also understand the difference between a left join and a right join in this situation as well. Now, the second example kind of question I wanna showcase is this one 
one around messenger case studies. The question is, we have a table that represents the total number of messages sent between two users by date on messenger. What are some insights that could be derived from this table? What do you think the distribution of the number of conversations created by each user per day looks like? And write the query to get the distribution of number of conversations created by each user in the year of 2020. Now, as you can see, we're starting to dive into that case study format. And this is where it's gonna show up a lot on data analytics interviews and not so much on like the engineering type interviews. And the reasoning why is, as we know, in analytics, you have to come up with different insights. You have to be able to proactively understand what you actually want to write for SQL queries. You can also notice that the question is around a distribution. We know a distribution is essentially a histogram or essentially a frequency count of the conversations here. And so we know that we have to do multiple group, group buys and left joins in this scenario to get the number of actual conversations started by each user, and then do another one on top to get each one by day, to understand how often that happens, and then be able to do like a multi-group uh, buy in this scenario. If you guys want to see the full answer, obviously there's a link below for the interview query question. All right, hard SQL questions. As I said before, hard SQL questions are divided into very, very complex advanced SQL queries and different kinds of case studies. The main difference between a medium SQL interview question and a hard one is the actual level of complexity. Now, most of the time, I think hard SQL questions are asked in actually in take-home exercises or potentially in on-site interviews. And the reasoning for that is the medium SQL questions are essentially asked in the screening section for, you know, the data science positions. And then the hard interview questions, hard SQL interview questions are asked on-site because maybe they take a really long time and they just want to know how you approach the problem and how you think about it. And maybe you're not even expected to complete it within the hour time slot. I've gotten extremely hard interview questions on-site where the concept of actually going through and solving it all might be too difficult. And it was more like I was pseudo coding a lot of it because, you know, writing code is very difficult. For case studies, they build upon that medium SQL interview question that we just saw, right? Where we formulate metrics for a hypothetical scenario and then also write a SQL query to get those metrics. An example hard SQL interview question would be an online marketplace company has introduced a new feature that allows potential buyers and sellers to conduct audio chats with each other prior to transacting. How will you measure the success of this new feature and write a query to that can represent if the feature is successful or not. So already there, when you're asking for the success of a feature, you have to understand some product analytics, right? I've already dived into this question and how to answer it in depth in another YouTube video below. As I said before, check it out and watch that video first if you haven't seen it. Hopefully this video is a great guide for you to understand exactly the different levels of SQL interview questions that might occur. I In the description below, I'll add examples of three questions of each of easy, medium, and hard for you to check out. They're all going to be on Interview Query, a site that I co-founded, if you don't know about me, that I think helps you prepare for SQL interviews extremely well and also for other types of data science and data analytics interviews. So please check it out below. And if you guys have any comments, please leave them in the chat. And I'd love to answer and reply to you back. Talk to everyone later. Bye.